AMX 3D claim that their 3D printer tools are a must have item. Let's find out if that's true. AMX 3D is an American company that makes 3D printer tools as well as selling a range of consumables such as filament. They claim to be all about quality and customer service so when they reached out to me to review some of these items, I was glad to accept. Now I have been 3D printing for quite a few years now so hopefully I'm in a good position to put these through their paces which is exactly what I've been doing for the last couple of weeks. What we have here are four different products so let's go through them one by one and see if they live up to the claim of being must have items. We're going to start with the simplest which is the scraper kit. It's got a really ergonomic handle and a nice safety cover. You can take it off and then you can untwist this dial to remove and change the blades over. Now the blades that it come with are mixed between plastic and metal and they're designed for one purpose and one purpose alone and that is cleaning the bed of your 3D printer. If you use a surface like glass or build tack, you'll know that if you put your first layer height just a little bit too close, some parts get squished in and they're extremely hard to remove. The build tack on my Cocoon Create Touch suffered from this exact problem and I've had some bits that have been unable to scrape off and I thought this would be an excellent chance to give this a try. I adopted a very shallow angle of attack and moved very carefully and I was able to remove all the little bits of plastic. Afterwards I switched to the plastic blade and this gave me a nice way to get rid of all the superficial pieces on top and clean up the surface ready to print again. Feeling confident I got out an old Zortrax M200 build plate and the scraper made short work of that. The blade was both sharp enough and narrow enough to get underneath all the stubborn parts and they came off after years of being stuck there. They do recommend using safety gloves and glasses for this so take the recommendation to avoid getting any little cuts. So first up would I recommend this one? For $9.50 absolutely. It's got one very specific job but it does it very well and it's quite an affordable price. Next up their print removal system which consists of these three items here. Now most 3D printers come with a paint scraper that probably has a sharpened edge and a lot of the time this is less than ideal. If you're hacking at your completed print trying to get underneath the edge, there's a fair chance you're going to damage that portion of the model. There's also a very good chance you're going to damage the bed. The trouble is when you're using this Sharp 2, as soon as it does let go, it's very easy to follow through and cut yourself. If you spend enough time in any 3D printer Facebook groups or forums, you probably see some horror photos of people's fingers and hands stitched together after having unfortunate slips with these. Another problem you might run into is on really large prints, it doesn't reach far enough under and the handle hits either the model or the bed, preventing you from getting underneath enough. Now this system is a little bit different, it doesn't have a sharp edge, instead it relies on you sliding it under and then sliding it sideways. Because it doesn't have a sharp edge, it's designed to not damage the model or the bed. For the most part, this worked extremely well. For the majority of my prints, I was able to slide it under the edge and just wiggle it back and forth and they would release really nicely. Now it's important to note this is not just a single part, this is a system and the system is quite clever. What you're meant to do is to slide under one and then use it to pry the next one under and if you've got a particularly troublesome print, you can slide the biggest one under that. I had one particular model that was stuck on really well with a RAF where I employed this exact system and I was very pleased with the results. My only complaint is that with the starting tool, even though it's rated as ultra thin, it doesn't have the sharpened edge and if you've got something stuck really well, it's hard to get it under in the first place. You might still need to revert to this one just to crack open the first millimeter and then you can take over with the rest of the system after that. Now I would note that most of my printers now have removable flexible build plates which negates the need for something like this altogether. If you don't have one of those however, you need to weigh up the cost of fitting one of those systems aftermarket versus a system like this. When I fitted my BuildTac flex plate system to my Cocoon Create Touch, it cost me $100 plus shipping, whereas these come in for quite affordable cost of only $15, which I think compares quite favorably. Next up, we have this three-part utility kit, but it's actually six parts. Each of the three tools is double-ended, and the claim is that these are perfect for cleaning off support material and other imperfections in the print. Looking at the different tools, one has a knife which you can resharpen if need be, and on the other end, a pry tool. The next one has a pick on one end and a precision blade on the other. The last one is described as a wide and narrow blade combo. You would almost describe them like scraping or prying tools. Now the quality of these, like the other tools, is really, really nice. They've got a nice timber handle. It's all stainless steel. Everything is embossed with their logos. It feels nice in your hand. And as you're using them, they feel really strong as well. It doesn't feel like they're gonna dull or snap or flex or anything like that. I put them to the test on a few prints and I have to say they worked extremely well. The first one I tested was a TL smoother mount for my Cocoon Create Touch. And there was no way to print this without having bulk support material. There was a range of different plastics that I needed to remove 
and I found these tools extremely useful for that. Every time I got to a specific part, I looked down and the tool that I needed was sitting right in front of me. This included using the knife to start separating large areas of support, using the pry tool to separate large flat areas. I also used the two scraper tools to clean up surfaces and to remove hard to reach parts. But most importantly, the precision blade and the pick tool were excellent for getting inside internal holes and small details like that. There's a model that I tested when doing this that I was never able to remove the support on without really manhandling it with pliers, but these tools made it quite plausible. Once again, they come with a nice Velcro carry case to protect them, and at $21, I reckon this set is a bargain. Even as an experienced 3D printer, I've never come across a set of tools that made it so easy to remove support material, and I think I'll be going to them over and over in future. Next up, we have this 25 piece 3D printer toolkit, and this is advertised as being perfect for a beginner in setting up for 3D printing. Let's go through the items one by one. Firstly, we have our same double-ended tool from the utility set. I highly recommend that. Secondly, we have our print removal tool, same one as the long one from that set. We have a file, which isn't too much to say about, but it's an appropriate size and it works like you would expect a file to. We have a set of long needle nose pliers and I have to say these ones are really nice. The grips are really comfy, the ends meet in an accurate way and that extra length is really good for removing support on internal surfaces and other hard to reach areas. Next up is a set of heat resistant non-magnetic anti-static tweezers and I have to say these are also really nice. They have a nice amount of flex in the handle and one thing I always check for is how accurately they meet in the middle and these do a really good job of that. We've got a glue stick and confession time, I've never actually printed with a glue stick before. I printed onto glass for years and years, but that was always onto hairspray. So this was my first time. I put down a sheet of glass on top of my bed. I put the glue down where I was expecting the print to be. And fortunately it worked like it was meant to. The print stuck, it didn't peel up, but it was still easy to get off at the end. And as advertised, it had a mirror-like glossy finish on the underside. They're all well and good, but for me, the star of the show is the cutting mat and the 17 piece precision knife set. In my existing collection of tools, I have one X-Acto blade. So this set was really, really nice. It comes with three different handles. I prefer the stubby one. And if you peel back the foam, you can see there's a bunch of different blades for every situation. Now there are numerous things you would need to use a blade set like this for, in cleaning up 3D prints, but I specifically used it to cut off stringing where I accidentally selected the wrong printer profile. This print was ABS and it sliced off very cleanly. I was also able to remove other surface blemishes easily as well. The cutting mat is double sided and the blade set goes nicely into a hard plastic case which both protects the blades as well as your fingers. Like some of the other sets, everything fits nicely in the zip up bag. Now is this ideal for a beginner? I'd say it's pretty close. It's got a nice range of tools and the quality once again is high throughout. It doesn't come with a scraper, but pretty much every 3D printer kit does come with one, so that's not really a problem. So the only thing I would say it was lacking is a nice set of side cutters. How does it go value-wise? Well, at $35, that is a little over a dollar per tool. So I reckon that's pretty outstanding value for the quality. So maybe you're interested in buying some of these tools, but you're not sure which ones to get. Well, AMX 3D has just launched a new product and that is the 40 piece toolkit. It comes with everything you see here in front of you, minus the scraper set for the price of $50. It even comes with some extra blades. So that means we're paying once again, just a little over a dollar per tool set. The best news is that for you teaching tech viewers, if you follow the link down below in the description to Amazon and use the code teaching tech, you will receive $5 off your order for a limited time. Even better news, if you're one of my patrons, I'll be giving away a couple of these kits at the end of the month to show my appreciation. In summary, these tools have lived up to my expectations and the manufacturer's claims. They have high quality, there's a good attention to detail, and you can tell that they've been designed by people who actually 3D print. Links to all the products as well as their website is in the description below, so check it out. And until next time, thanks for watching and happy 3D printing. G'day, it's Michael again. If you like the video, then please click like. If you want to see more content like this in future, click subscribe and make sure you click on the bell to receive every notification. If you really want to support the channel and see exclusive content, become a patron. Visit my Patreon page. See you next time.